So the, the addresses that the OA, has, the OA has sent to are being diluted every single day by the staker class because the staker class is earning 40% APY on average and the origin address daughters are not, they're not that numerous. Like they're, they're, I think if you do the chain analysis and a dude named Silver the Antidote did the chain analysis, I think 20% of shares are in daughters that came from OA. So nobody knows who or what they are, but their addresses have received um, hacks from the origin address. So only 20% of all shares have ever touched OA. And then all the other shares that OA has, which are like a shit ton, they're, they're not staked. So you end up with a higher market cap, a higher APY percent, and the OA getting diluted. Then the OA, the OA and or the address that it has sent to were also diluted in the big payday because those addresses, if the chain analysis that I did was accurate, only staked for about a day. And that's the absolute minimum amount of shares you could possibly get. Whereas the average shareholder length for everyone else in the staking class was 4.5 or 4.7 years. So they got a lot more shares prorated, which means that the origin address and addresses that have received coins from the origin address all got diluted um, in the big payday so that everyone else, everyone else got the same or more shares. So if you look at, you know, the minimum amount you could have got, if you'd staked only a day was the 32%. And then for people that stake 10 years and 15 years, 10 years and up or 36, 41 days and up, you know, they got three times that. So they got like 96% or more um, payout on that day credited to their stakes. So, so the big payday, it, it looked, if you analyzed it from like a, an airplane view, the big payday was like a stock split. So if, if, if you have a $10 bill and then you trade it for two fives, well, now you've got twice the units of half the value, but you still got $10. And the big payday was similar to that, except instead of doing a, a normal split where each share got, you know, more units, but less value. And by the way, the market sets the value. Like the only reason the value is less is because people sold. Right. Like people, I think 13 or 14 days out, some guys that held a lot, uh, sold. So in this system, the people that believed longer got rewarded more. Whereas in a normal stock split, they just care how many shares you have. There's not like, I don't think a differential. If you have this kind of share, you get more. If you have this kind of share, you get less, but it hacks because it's well-designed. It did have that. The people that believed longer, the people that believe the most were rewarded the most in the split and or in you know in the bonus path so like it's a really neat innovative design that rewarded the people that that believe the longest